I tell the story all the time about uh, Hank Towns, who was our uh, equipment manager. Uh, he was an old black man. He'd been, he worked here for 35 or, or 40 years, and he, he still comes around. When I came on my recruiting visit, uh, my parents met Hank, and, and he and my father uh, hit it off instantly, and they talked for 15 minutes. And when he was leaving uh, to go back to the equipment room, Hank said, Mr. Mack, I got to go, but I can tell you this. If you send your son to Princeton, we will take care of him. Uh, and that message resonated uh, with my father till the day he died. And I think because of the impact that Hank had when I got here, he took care of me. Uh, he, he, you know, take me to his house, take me to his church. He, he, you know, really made Princeton feel like home. And I think because that was what someone did for me, uh, I owe it to the university. I owe it to the generations of, of current and future student athletes at Princeton and students as a whole uh, to offer that same kind of help and support. The thing that I've always said is the place that makes Princeton special is the people. Uh, and so both on that visit and throughout my four years here, it was the people that made Princeton for me uh, such a special place and such a special experience. And so when I look back on my time here as a student, uh, as a member of the track team, uh, it's those moments with, with my teammates sitting around after, after practice, uh, stretching and talking. And those moments really shape for me what being a student athlete at Princeton is all about. And, and when I left, I felt like I could do pretty much anything uh, because I'd been prepared for success. And I think that's the beauty of this place. I've always loved Princeton and I've kept uh, as in touch with the university as, as I possibly could over the course of the, the 20 odd years uh, since I graduated. I thought I had a good sense of what was going on on campus, um, but being back here has just taken that to uh, another level for, first of all, you know, being able to be back with my wife and, and kids. We, our kids are five, six, and seven. So to see them get to experience Princeton uh, and, and to get to interact with our student athletes and teams and, and students across campus, uh, we've got a few babysitters who are students. It's been phenomenal. There's a, a life of vibrancy on a college campus that you just don't get anywhere else. Uh, and to be able to do what I do, to love sports, and be able to do it at a place that, that means so much to me. Uh, I've spent the last year literally uh, meeting thousands of, of alums uh, and students, all of whom have the same passion for, for this place that I do, and all of whom want to know how we can continue to make Princeton and the Princeton experience better for students. And so. I get up every day uh, excited about coming to work uh, because of the people I get to do it with and because I get to offer other students the chance for the same kind of life-changing opportunity uh, that I had as a Princeton student athlete. And I think given the, the diversity of my, my, my previous work as, as a pastor, as an attorney, it, all of that helps shape the way I come to work every day. Uh, when I look back at the places that I've worked, you know, Northwestern is a very similar culture, you know, academics first, really high quality people working there. When I think about my time as an attorney, uh, having to think critically and to deliver messages very succinctly, so many lessons that started uh, here at Princeton um, that shape how I think, how I write, how I communicate uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So when I think about the first year, uh, it's been now, I guess, 14, almost 15 months. Uh, I jokingly tell people I did a fantastic job of staying out of the way last year. Uh, our team's had a lot of success. Um, but really, I, I think the, the beauty is that uh, Princeton was in fantastic shape when I got here. Uh, my, my predecessor, Molly Marcusaman, did an uh, incredible job uh, leading the department during her seven years. And so for me, I really just wanted to spend most of the first year listening. Uh, what are the things that I, I don't know? What are the issues that I'm not as familiar with listening to both our staff, our coaches, student athletes, to alums? And so over the course of this first year, I've really just tried to listen and really make some impact uh, in areas that, I, I, that are important to me. So one of the things that we did this past year was uh, we had our first ever Tiger Coaches Summit to, to really invest in our coaches and professional development, and, uh, allow them, we had a retreat that allowed them to kind of sit and talk to each other and interact and, and pick each other's brains in ways that they don't have an opportunity to do during the year. Uh, one of the other you know, really important things to me is you know, focusing on our DEI efforts, not just for, for student athletes, but across campus. To me, being able to impact um, the experience for students broadly, uh, I remind people frequently my job is, uh, 
communities, really overseeing the, the athletic and fitness and wellness experience of all 5,500 kids on campus. It's not just the 1,000 varsity athletes, but it's club sports, it's intramurals, it's group fitness over at Dillon, and in partnership with Jess Ward, who does a phenomenal job leading that. So to me, I think we've made some really good strides over the course of the year. I think the, the renovation project uh, at Dillon is going to be incredible for, for the entire Princeton community. Uh, again, we just opened a new uh, facility, Roberts <coughs> Stadium, uh, our, our soccer facility. And so trying to think about what are the spaces um, that really allow students and staff uh, to have the kind of moments uh, that really make a uh, Princeton experience and, and trying to make sure that we can uh, make some progress uh, towards that. This job is so much bigger than me. Uh, every day, the, the things that I want to try to accomplish are so much bigger than uh, having my name uh, attached to them. Uh, I, I said, and I believe, my, my job is a support, it's a support job. Uh, our coaches are on the front line of, of providing an incredible experience for student athletes, so my job is to support our coaches in doing that, uh, competitively on and off the field, um, the way that we travel, the resources that we provide. And so in, in, in many ways, the less my name is mentioned and, and the more our coaches and student athletes uh, get all the attention, then, then I'll feel like I, I will have done my job. Uh, again, I think there's some, some significant progress I, I'd like to make in, in our facilities and in our support stru structure and uh, some of our staffing needs. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't necessarily care if people say that, you know, my tenure involved X, Y, or Z. I've had an incredible experience uh, as a student, uh, as an alum, uh, and really to me, uh, my only goal is to, to be here to make Princeton, continue to make Princeton Athletics uh, a better you know, organization uh, than it was when I got here. Let's get the cannon started. Let's get the cannon song rolling for John.